Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to pair and link your PlayStation 4 or 5 uh, to the PlayStation app very quickly. Now, if you have this app and you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as your PlayStation 5, you should just automatically be able to detect it. But maybe you don't have Wi-Fi and you're on 5G. Uh, what you want to do is just sign in and then go to settings right here. Scroll on down and go to where it says pair uh, console with app and you can select your PS5 under here now if you want to set this up you need to go to scan QR code and you can scan the QR code or enter in the code manually let's do that now then go over to your PlayStation 5 or you can have someone else provide you this code or you can hmm, I don't think you can do this with remote play but you want to go to settings scroll on down and go to where it says uh, system then go to remote play Go to the right and make sure remote play is enabled with your profile. Then go down to pair device and then it's going to provide you this code. Uh, simply just type in this code um, on your phone uh, where I showed you before and it should find it. Otherwise, if you are using just the Wi Fi, it should detect your PlayStation 5 automatically. So I just typed in this code. And it says I can't scan, uh, sign in for some reason, even though I'm already connected, maybe that's the reason why. So that's the easiest way to basically just connect it. Now, like I said before, if you are trying to pair it, it should just find it if you're using the same Wi-Fi. So if you go to pair console with app, choose your PlayStation 5. So I believe this one, and go to select. I should be able to go up to the top, go to like console storage, and I should be able to find all my information under here. Now if I go to like a game, so let's go back, go to a game, split gate, and then if I go to play using remote play or something like this, it should just automatically work. So let's see, searching via the internet. So just type in that code like I showed you before, make sure uh, remote play is enabled and you should be good to go. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below.